This is the first ever like historic, we're calling it the 2017 Angler of the Year Exchange. So myself, United States Angler of the Year, and Daisuke Aoki is the Japanese Angler of the Year for 2017. So we're gonna go out. We're actually on Lake Oneida, which is one of my favorite lakes to fish in the country. It's gonna be a good time. There were a lot of nerves coming into this event, we can call it, or this exchange of Angler of the Years. Good to meet you. Very good to meet you. Okay, so we're gonna fish together today. If we can, yeah. It doesn't matter to me, let's, let's go. go. I don't think either one of us were ready to like have that meeting, it just happened. You know, all of it was built up to happen the next day. But when we looked at the weather, looked at the conditions, it was supposed to be super sunny that first day and then really rain the next two to three days. And we decided to just fast forward everything, take advantage of that first evening light when everyone was here and we just went fishing. And instantly I felt like I was fishing with one of my buddies from back home. Nope. Grass. Boom! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So see, even though we couldn't communicate verbally, the way that we moved around the boat, um, just even like casting or just simple little things, there was no language needed. There was no verbal talk needed. We just moved around each other like we had been fishing together for the last 20 years. Thank you. Even though we may not speak the same language or come from the same backgrounds, through a love or passion for a similar thing, it brings us together. I'm gonna cook up some food. I'm gonna cook up antelope steaks, some beef ribeyes, some salmon. Cheers. Oh, cheers. I don't know how you say that in Japanese, but. Kanpai? 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 Uh, yesterday was probably one of the coolest days that I've ever spent on the water. It's been an absolute blast so far. Uh, learning a ton, not just about fishing, but just about life in general um, and the connection that everybody has. Oh, big. Looks big. Oh. <laughs> That's what we came here for. Give me five. <laughs> five and a half. <laughs> Watching Daisuke catch his personal best smallmouth was incredible because he was so excited and we can't talk about it, but I could understand that that was his biggest smallmouth ever. It was just a little over five and a half pounds. He was amazed and he was excited. And that's what you can expect from anybody. See, big, four and a half at least. I'm getting my butt whoop. I guess you take the number one finesse angler from Japan drop shot and he's probably gonna whoop you. Another four and a half pounder. That's 2151 with a 284 on there. And three of them are his. There's a lot of things that you could take away from the last three or four days uh, fishing with Daisuke. From a like fishing standpoint, top three. From a human aspect, possibly the coolest experience I've ever had. I can't be more excited for our trip to Japan. Good to see you. Namiki Ah, Namiki san. Uh.
Uh, see. Long time no see. As soon as we get out of the truck and we see Daisuke, he says, long time no see. In English. You've been practicing English. <laughs> Mutt. Very good. Right, getting to fish on a lake that I've dreamed of with a group of guys that I love being around and, you know, and getting to see his take on the lake and how he approaches it and how he approaches a body of water. You know, it's his turn to take the driver's seat, hop in his boat, uh, and just kind of see how he approaches everything. And it was just good to be back in the boat together, fishing and just doing our thing in our element, having a good time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not very big. <laughs> Woo! That didn't take long. It was amazing just being able to communicate a little bit more than what we could the first time. All that did was just like build our friendship even stronger, I felt like. How do you say? No fish. How, how do you say? Same. Same? Same. No fish? <laughs> <laughs> Bassy night. Oh, bassy night. Bassy night. Bassy night. Bassy night. Bassy night. Bassy night. No fish. The time of year that we are there is really the toughest time of the year that you can possibly fish at Lake Biwa. Oh. Carp. Bassy night. <laughs> Uh, you know, knowing that it, it's tough, it's kind of a bummer, not a lot of fish catches, you know, it, it made us think and stay on our toes. And then when you did catch one, it was just that much more exciting. Small? Oh, not that small. Oh, yeah, very skinny. He was hungry. Hungry. <laughs> Even if it was a two or three pounder, it was exciting because we knew how tough it was uh, that you felt like you were accomplishing something. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> so we finish up day one, awesome day on the water, awesome experience just being with everyone reunited again. We end up at this really cool restaurant. It's kind of all fishermen. <laughs> so, um, obviously, everyone is like wanting to learn and joking around with each other. But one of the funniest things is trying to get the D style crew to pronounce English words correctly and then trying to get us to pronounce Japanese words correctly. Um, me, me, don't, no. McDonald's. 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 You can't create that same feeling with all groups of people, but with that group, it happens every time. Um, and so you can't help but be excited for the next time that everyone meets up. No doubt this exchange is bigger it's bigger than just fishing. It's more than just fishing. It's uh, it's on a, a level of bringing people together um, through a common love of something, which is something that I feel like we really need in the world right now. You know, it really made me think that if just through fishing, we're exactly the same and we do all the same things when we have never met, what else does that say about the rest of the world and the rest of the things that we do? You know, how close to each other are we really, even when we have different cultural backgrounds or different religions? At the end of the day, this sport that we all love and um, this thing we call fishing can actually bring all of these people together. And if we can do that with fishing, what else can we do that with that maybe we just haven't had our eyes opened up to?